It's Judy's turn. Perceptions? Mm -hmm. I think it's mm -hmm. five. Four, or, yeah, four and one. Perceptions oh, laws are opposite to truth. And what is true of knowledge is not true of anything that is apart from it. Let's just stop. I want to I go over that one line. Mm -hmm. Perceptions law, so it would be the perception of who you are and who your brother is, is opposite to the truth of who you are and who your brother is. Because all perceptions are coming out of an identity. And so it says, and what is true of knowledge, when, when we know who we are, it's not true of anything that is apart from it. So when you know who you are, anything that isn't what you really are is just not true. But our perception can tell us all kinds of things are true about who we are and who our brother is. Weak, uh, guilty, you know, or innocent, or strong, or, you know, we have all the different attributes. But remember, we're always talking about identity. Who are we? Who really are we? Are we this body, vulnerable body that dies, or are we a spiritual being with eternal power and life at one with God? Okay, so we go on now. Yet has God given answer to the world of sickness, which applies to all its forms. God's answer is eternal, though it works in time where it is needed. Yet because it is of God, the laws of time do not affect its workings. It is in this world, but not a part of it. For it is real and dwells where all reality must be. Ideas leave not their source, and their effects but seem to be apart from them. Ideas are of the mind, what is projected out and seems to be external to the mind is not outside at all, but an effect of what is in and has not left its source. What is projected out is the body. Whatever you see out there is a reflection of what you believe is true, is what he's trying to say. Don't think that what you see out there is something that's out there, and then now you believe it true. If you see, Anything we see here in this world of perception is in our mind first, something we believe. So that's how we can get uh, an idea of what beliefs we need to undo. <laughs> Look what we see, and it's like, okay, that doesn't line up with what I just read. I'm, the truth is, so that means it's one of the un things that need to be undone, any of the ideas because it wasn't sourced out there, it was sourced in my mind. And that's the end. When it talks about ideas of the mind, to me, it, I, I can see it more as it's, it's, it's my meaning that I'm giving of what I'm seeing out there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not what I'm seeing. I mean, yes. I'm probably, we're all seeing the damn house over there, the person right. probably read. Mm -hmm. um, but then it's the meaning. Mm -hmm. The importance is the meaning I give on this perception. Yes. How you see something is our responsibility. Yeah, the perception, interpretation of meaning. Yeah. Okay, oh, it's my turn. No, it's Judy's turn now. My turn? God, I'm one, I'm per one person behind. <laughs> okay. We'll read twice. And then, <laughs> and then I'll catch up. <laughs> okay, God's answer lies where the belief in sin must be, in our mind, for only there can its effects be utterly undone and without cause. Perception's laws must be reversed because they are reversals of the laws of truth. The laws of truth forever will be true and cannot be reversed, yet can be seen as upside down. And this must be corrected where the illusion of reversal lies. Which is in our minds. I guess that's why this is a mind training. <laughs> yes. We're going to train our mind to perceive. So, anyway. Is there such a thing as true perception? Yeah, true perception would reflect the truth, the knowledge of who we are. It would be an interpretation of meaning that reflects what, this, what God says is true. True and false perception. False perception reflects what the ego thinks is true. And the ego thinks sin is real. But we've changed ourselves, so that's why God's answer lies where the where the belief in sin must be, which is in our own agreement with the ego's thought system about what's true. 